Konnichiwa, and welcome to Tsuki no Ame, where we try Japanese snacks and treats. Today we have a really special episode, so first off, I do have to start by just saying Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, so I am over in the States. Today is officially, at least for us in the U.S., Thanksgiving, which is honestly one of my favorite holidays. And so uh, those of you who are familiar with Tokyo Tree or have been on the channel for a while will probably already know this, but... <coughs> For those of you who are new, first off, hi, welcome, thank you for joining, uh, thank you everybody for joining. Uh, Tokyo Treat every month sends us some sort of noodle dish. And when we get them, we, we do try them, and we kind of make a special episode out of it. Uh, they also, most months, but not always, I don't, they had a rebrand recently, and I don't know if they're planning to bring this back or if it's just a once in a while thing but they will often send us some sort of soda. And so we usually have the two together. And since it happened to fall so that we could do this on Thanksgiving, I just thought, you know, it, it just fit. It just seemed right. So that's what we're going to do today. We are trying, <laughs> trying to keep this all from rolling has been entertaining. So we are going to try it. They sent us this uh, noodle cup. We have the Kitsune Udon. The, uh, apparently, it's flavored with tofu, wakame seaweed, uh, dashi, and some green onion. I literally have the culture guide here. Um, just so you're aware, also, if you're looking at this and you're you know, considering whether or not you want to get some of these things, they do include the instructions in English in the culture guide, so you don't have to worry about like trying to translate the information on the back. I have had to do that before. It gets entertaining. <laughs> and I do appreciate that about Tokyo Tree is they are really good about making sure uh, that you have the directions in English as well as in Japanese. Really, really helpful. We also have, they sent us this lovely soda, which is Japanese plum flavored. And I'm really curious about this. Um, it's one of those where uh, Japanese snack makers are excellent at capturing fruit flavors, but also uh, if you've, ex you know, explored, you know, like your local import store or something and been able to see like the ramen a, you've probably noticed this, but they have some really unusual flavors, uh, just fruit flavors that at least I personally don't see very often, not just in soda, but in candy and treat making in general. Um, and so, yeah, I have literally never seen a Japanese plum soda before in my life. I am really excited to try it. According to the culture guide, it's supposed to be sweet and tart. We're going to find out. So I am going to, of course, crack open the snow cup, get it cooked. And then we are going to try both of these. And we are back. So honestly, these cooked up super quickly. I have not looked inside yet. Um, but yeah, you just add hot water in this case, since it is one of those noodle cups. Three minutes, good to go. It smells really good. I can smell the uh, green onion really strong. Ooh, it looks good. Yeah, super quick, super easy. It looks really tasty. I'm really excited about this. Okay. Oh, this looks good. So with all that said and done and ready to go, let's get started. Itadakimasu! Okay, let's try to get these to break up a little bit. And there are like a bit, the picture showed a bunch of like these fish cakes. And I do see them. They're very thinly sliced though. And the one I can really see is like, it keeps disappearing. Uh, I think it's going to be interesting <laughs> trying to get those. Mm. 
that is really good. Um, the flavor is really nice. You do have that dashi. The onions are nice. Same with the seaweed. <laughs> it's really good. The flavor is really good. What's really kind of standing out to me though, so udon noodles are a lot thicker than ramen. And usually when I've had them, like it's very, very thick all the way around. These are very flat noodles. I don't know how well you can see, but they are, these are very, very flat. And I'm sure that's so that they actually cook properly just because, you know, a thicker noodle is going to take a lot more. They are really good though. This is really tasty. would definitely recommend. This is fun. So moving on to our Japanese plum soda. No idea how this got on there. Hmm. Interesting. So it's described as being kind of tart and sweet, and it is kind of like that. It's a little, it does kind of remind me of a sweet tart. Not quite as tart, definitely a bit sweeter, but it has kind of a similar taste to it. It is really good, though. It does have kind of that nice fruity flavor to it. This is really tasty. This is very different, especially because Japanese plums do taste very different from the plums that I've usually historically had. And I don't think I've ever seen any sort of plum soda before, but it's really pretty good. Would definitely recommend. Koji Sasama. So to recap, we did our Kitsune Udon, which really good, really tasty, really quick and easy to make. Uh, we also tried our Japanese plum soda, also really good kind of the taste kind of reminds me of sweet tarts i don't know why but also really tasty would definitely recommend either of these worth your time well thank you so much for joining me today if you like my shirt link for that is down in the description below and please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe Johnny.